Do you want to grow the easiest, cheapest, and most nutritious food for your bird? Stick around and I'll show you how. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, I'm showing you how to make microgreens. This is an amazing food for both you and your bird. Super healthy. I'm gonna show you step by step how to do it and also what it looks like on each stage of the growth phase until it gets to this beautiful point here with this voluptuous carpet of chia microgreens. Now, when we're thinking of dry seeds, grains, and legumes, not all of them can be soaked and sprouted, but for the ones that can, the dry version is okay in terms of nutritional profile. The soaked ones are good, the sprouted ones are great but the microgreens version is amazing. This is like top tier nutrition for your birds. This is a stage when the plant is really growing and it's really, really nutrient dense, which means it's gonna be fantastic for your bird to enjoy. Now the type that I've grown here is chia seeds. This is probably the easiest one to do. I've dabbled in a few different microgreen types and this is by far the easiest. The best part about this is you don't need soil, you don't need a garden, you can grow this in this tray, how I'll show you in a second, just on your kitchen windowsill or just somewhere with a lot of light and it is gonna be great fun, not only to see them grow, but also to see your bird enjoy it as well. Now, one of the reasons why it's awesome to offer your birds chia microgreens is because they're really high in calcium and lots of other micronutrients. But the calcium aspect is great because obviously our birds need to have a healthy and bioavailable source of calcium. So without further ado, let's get straight into things. I'm going to show you how to grow this beautiful microgreens tray. So to start your chia microgreens, what you're going to need is a microgreens tray, one that has um, holes in it to like this you want the base of it as well and then you're going to want something to place over the top all of these are in my Amazon store if you want to get the same ones as me but essentially you need a tray with drainage holes and holes where your chia seed roots can go through then you're going to need some kitchen roll paper towels whatever you call it in your part of the world and you're going to want to cut it just to the right size that it's going to fit your drainage tray. Now the reason we're doing this is because the holes are too big for the chia seeds themselves. So if you sprinkle them over the top there, they're just gonna fall straight through and then they're not gonna create any microgreens. So we use this as something for your seeds to kind of hold on to and grow through. It's completely fine, but it's always good to just get kind of box standard value, just white stuff. You don't want any kind of uh, patterns on there or anything. Or anything fancy, your chia microgreens are not going to care or what kind of kitchen roll you have, but it's better to have something without any dyes in. Then we are going to use our spray bottle. I've got this one from Northern Parrots and I'm just going to lightly spray this to start off with just to make sure the seeds kind of stay in place um, because otherwise uh, they're going to be rolling around. So I'm just going to lightly mist the kitchen roll like that. Then we are going to get the stars of the show, the chia seeds. We get organic human grade chia seeds because then we know that they are really high quality. We're just going to use a spoon to kind of sprinkle them over the kitchen roll. Like so, you want to get a nice kind of even covering. You don't want any kind of built up too much in one place. And you can use your spoon once you've sprinkled them to kind of move them around. Because as you can see, I'm doing exactly what I just said not to do. <laughs> um, but you want a pretty decent covering of your chia seeds. And once you've got your chia seeds fairly evenly spread out across your kitchen roll, you're gonna to wanna to spray them again. Now this is important because you're gonna be spraying them twice a day to give them that moisture. It's not like other kind of microgreens where you have to soak them because chia seeds absorb moisture and swell up to like 10 times their size when they get wet. So when you soak them, they don't go right. And this is how you do it instead. So we're gonna give them a nice good soak. You don't want them completely saturated, but you do want them to be nice and damp so they are actually going to grow. And the next step is to let them actually grow. Now you want to have a lid, as I said, you could use a tea towel or something. I've just got a second um, microgreens tray, so I'm gonna use the tray from that. You do want some ventilation, so I've got some holes um, slightly either side, so there is some airflow there, because if you don't have any airflow, they're gonna go moldy, and we don't want that. But you want to have a lid on there, and the reason for that is for the first five days, you want them in a blackout stage. That means they're not exposed to light in any way. You wanna keep them in a cupboard or somewhere nice and dark. Now the reason for this is when you have seeds in the dark, they grow upwards uh, because they're looking for light. If you have them in the light the whole time, they're gonna grow outwards and it's gonna be really hard to harvest them and they're not gonna grow very tall and tasty. So that's why we have them in the blackout stage. So we have a lid on there and we keep them somewhere dark for the first five days, spraying twice a day, obviously depending on um, how wet they are. If they're really wet, you can uh, skip one of the sprays, but we wanna keep them wet. 
Now the key after that is, obviously we've got our little um, tray with the holes. When you start seeing any roots come through the bottom here, that's when you stop spraying and use the base and you fill that with a thin layer of water and that's how they'll get their water instead. So get it from the roots upwards. But while they're still in this stage where there's no roots, you want to be spraying them twice a day. So let's start our microgreens journey and see how well these guys do. Let's pop them in the blackout stage, somewhere nice and dark, and see what we end up with. So today is day five and these microgreens are going really well which I'm really happy about. You can see just how long the little stems are there. Now I could leave this in the blackout stage for a bit longer but to be honest they're growing so well that I think now we're going to leave the lid off and we're going to let them just be exposed to light. They're all going to go green so if anyone's wondering why they're all yellow it's because they haven't been exposed to light. But now they have, um, they are going to start going lovely, lush and green. Uh, as you can see, we've been doing the water underneath. We can't really see, but <laughs> the water is underneath so all those lovely long roots. So we're going to change the water this morning, expose them to light, and we're going to see how we go. Now you can continue to grow your microgreens a bit longer than I have, but these are perfectly safe to harvest once they start growing up and have these nice green leaves. You can just chop them off here, you can store them in a Ziploc bag, you can add them to your bird's chop, whether you feed that fresh or you freeze it. There's lots of options and make sure you're eating some yourself because these are tasty and nutritious for you and your birds. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how to grow microgreens for your bird. If you have any questions about the process, do let me know down in the comments because I'd love to speak to you. Let me know if you try it out, what your birds think. And of course, if you manage to grow a beautiful tree like this, tag me on social media at birdnerdsophie because I would love to see your creations and all of the yummy food that you feed your birds. But for me for now, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having an amazing day. Take care and see you later.